This week in history, on January 10th, 1945, General Douglas MacArthur was placed in command of all U.S. ground forces in the Pacific theater of World War II. This marked a pivotal moment in the war as it concentrated power in the hands of one of America's most controversial and ambitious commanders. MacArthur, a flamboyant and outspoken figure, had already achieved fame for his island-hopping campaign in the Pacific, which had recaptured key territories from the Japanese. However, his bold tactics and clashes with superiors had also raised concerns about his temperament and judgment. Despite these concerns, President Roosevelt and the Joint Chiefs of Staff believed that a unified command was necessary to streamline operations and accelerate the defeat of Japan. MacArthur, with his charisma and experience, was seen as the best man for the job. The decision to place MacArthur in command had a profound impact on the final months of the war. He led the successful invasions of Iwo Jima and Okinawa, two brutal battles that inflicted heavy casualties on both sides. And on September 2, 1945, it was MacArthur who accepted the surrender of Japan aboard the USS Missouri, formally ending the war in the Pacific. MacArthur's legacy, however, remains complex and contested. While he is revered as a hero by many, others criticize his authoritarian tendencies and his handling of the Korean War, which led to his dismissal by President Truman in 1951. Narrator, General Douglas MacArthur's appointment as Supreme Commander in the Pacific was a defining moment in World War II. His bold leadership and controversial legacy continue to be debated today.